I enjoy making relief carvings on my leather hard clay pots and I use a set of knives that I've made in order to do this carving. Now there's a difference between wood carving chisels and the knives that I use. Carving chisels are designed to be struck on the end and so they go in the direction of the handle and a carving knife cuts this way so I just roll my wrist and pull rather than push the knife. And the reason I use knives instead of chisels is I find these long handles get in the way frequently when carving shapes. So I made each of these knives differently in order to carve different ways in the same way that you'd have a whole set of wood carving chisels with different degrees of curvature and potentially uh, bend this way as well. I find that I need these different curves in order to make the work that I like to do. Clay is easy to carve. You can use almost anything to carve it. So a piece of wood that's sharpened to make an intersecting angle that's quite keen is really good for carving leather hard clay. You can even use the tool that we often use to undercut pots on the wheel to carve clay. When I first started carving clay, I experimented with knives that already existed. So this is a kitchen knife that I just heated up and bent. And that was an attempt to start to make a curve like a wood carving chisel might have on it. So this is a purchased knife. It's from Japan probably, and it's made from strapping steel, pallet steel. And this is a very common kind of steel to use for um, trimming tools. So you don't need to purchase tools like this. You can make them yourself from the same material. This is strapping steel from a pallet. And it can be cut with metal shears and then sharpened. And then if you want to bend it, you just heat it up with a propane torch and bend it. When you make your own tools, you can make them to suit. So this knife has a very broad curve and this knife has a very tight curve, much tighter even than one of these loop tools that you can purchase. I actually don't like carving with these. They tend to dig in and gouge, but this kind of tool is very easy to control. So I think making your own tools with the curve that you want is ideal. Lots of potters use these really high quality trimming tools that are in fact similar to tools that would be used in Korea or China or Japan. Now, the reason why this is a short piece of metal is tool steel is expensive. Here's a homemade version of one of these tools, and this is the correct size handle for me. Um, it just uses twice as much steel as the purchased item, but this tool is sharpened on this corner, which this tool isn't. So using steel to make your own tools gives you more options for shaping. So these are tools that I use all the time. This one is made from a metal cutting bandsaw blade that probably looked something like this. So you don't need to purchase steel in order to make your own tools necessarily. It is possible to buy steel online. This is a piece of O1 tool steel. That's oil hardening steel. And so this trimming tool was made from this stock. And this tool is sharpened and hardened and holds an edge for a very long time. You don't necessarily need to purchase steel in order to make tools that can be sharpened and hardened. And of course, this makes the tools stay sharp longer. So using oil hardening steel makes a lot of sense. But you can also use materials which were manufactured for another purpose that are hardened. So this hacksaw blade could be used to make a cutting edge or this sawzall blade could be used or even something that you purchase could be used. This Bosch blade is what is used to make this knife. And the advantage of using this instead of this is obviously you don't need to remove as much material here. It does cost something to purchase this, but if you have any old blades laying around, they're perfect to reuse in this fashion. This is not that expensive, and with it, I can make tools that I can only make myself. I can't purchase a tool like this. 
So it totally is a good investment to buy the right materials if you don't already have them laying around in the garage somewhere. So why should you use this type of steel that can be hardened? And the simple answer is once you shape the edge, it will stay sharp longer. This is not mild steel. Mild steel is the most common kind of steel laying around. This is a kind of spring steel, which stays sharp pretty well. But using a, some kind of tool steel just ensures that the edges of your tools stay sharp longer.